All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I know a lot of the people may feel inadequate around me. Not necessarily everyone. There's a lot of people that are doing quite well and are amazing. Not just celebrities, but people that are trying to be celebrities. Or people that are wealthy for other reasons. Or whatever you might be. Maybe you're really good looking and you're not wealthy. So those people wouldn't feel bad around me. But some people, I can understand why they might feel like threatened or not happy around me because some people are not nearly as good as I am. In I'm not trying to be, you know, just I'm just saying some people, it brings up people's inadequacies. Some people are self-conscious and shy and so they might not feel great around me. And then what, I, what, what my channel is meant for is to inspire people, all right? So if you are someone that is struggling or you think, shoot, uh, Marco Molina is way better than me, or whatever that's not the intention of my channel my channel is meant to inspire you to be more than what you are all right i do a lot so that people can feel good and feel like they offer something to the world all right now uh, you might think that's a backwards way of doing it because i'm doing all the work but i honestly feel that if you see so uh, i mean just like when i found madonna performing for many years it really inspired me, and only until now that I actually performed, right? So there are some people that are maybe in the in the background or shy, and they're really good people, and they're really talented, and they may, they may even look really, really good as well. And they're like, how does how does Marco do it? How does Marina do it? One day they might you yourself, if you are that person, you might feel like you can do these things too, all right? And maybe you'll be like feel great about it and you actually challenge yourself and say, hey, you know what, Marco and Molina were always telling me I could do these things and now I actually feel like I can. So it opens doors, just like when Madonna performed and when Lady Gaga, that was it. As soon as Lady Gaga started performing, I was inspired by Madonna, but as soon as Lady Gaga started performing, I was really incredibly uh, interested in performing myself. So that's what I did do, but it took a long time. I was very shy as a child. Um, I was very shy as a child. And then I was also, um, I was also trying to be a bit of a celebrity before, but it's hard when you have to get record labels or whatever to try to pick you up and say, hey, you're a star. Some people didn't recognize me. They were like, no, you're not, you're not good. You, you're too nervous or whatever or you need practice and yes those things some of those things at times were true but now i feel like those things are gone now so i'm really happy about um how how people like madonna and Lady Gaga inspired me to be this way and it took time i wasn't i wasn't always driven to be someone that could even perform it i i knew it was out there i liked it you know, it's, it's funny, I never really had even thought of it, really. I had lived in Toronto for four years. I didn't even pursue modeling. Well, I pursued modeling once, but I didn't even pursue acting or anything. I just kind of thought I would just do a regular job there. I didn't actually know that I was really gifted. Um, and, you know, I mean, it's great now that I know, but I'm very lucky, of course. And some of you might be in the same boat. Maybe maybe you don't like people that are successful or you feel threatened, but maybe you're just as good as you don't even know, right? Some people are really, really good and they might be like, they might need something to wake them up and say, hey, you know what, I'm actually really good. And that just takes something that, what we call is like finally being, realizing, hey, I'm worth a lot more than I thought. And so that's, you know, being young, you, you don't really feel worthwhile, or you don't really feel like you offer anything, or you're just young and inexperienced, but maybe one day you'll grow up to be something really, really big. So I'm talking about 18 year old to 25. You don't know where your potential is until later on, and you're like, oh wow, Marco and Molina were right. I, I didn't know. I could have a YouTube channel that's really big and famous. I didn't even know. Like seriously, when I was younger, I was not thinking stardom or fame or anything like that. I was just living my life and 
going to school thinking that that's like a career and wanted a really good career and wanted to make sure that I was successful. I didn't actually plan on being famous. I, I mean, YouTube wasn't around for many years as well. So that's another thing. I think, I think if YouTube was around when I was 18, I probably would have gone on my bandwagon. But yeah, so, and people were really inspiring. They gave me really good ideas. Uh, I think in Toronto, I was living there, and somebody was like, start a YouTube channel and go to YouTube. And I was told to go on Kijiji to look up work for acting. And so a lot of people were really great to me and like told me really great things. And, you know, like now that I am a performer, I'm not famous yet, but I mean, I can see fame in my look. I think it's really great. I can see fame in my performances. But yeah, so anyway, I really want to inspire you. I think you can do the same thing. You might not realize it now, but eventually when you do realize it, you'll be like, yeah, that's what Marco and Marina were talking about. Thank you all.